Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this DIY Pinterest inspired fake fireplace and fake fire. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and be notified as soon as my videos are posted. You're going to need six boxes of the same size and one that is slightly smaller. Craft paper which you can find at Walmart. You can use small scotch tape if you want, but I find that packing tape works way better in this situation and for this DIY project. You'll need a paintbrush and a sponge, and as for the colors for the bricks, I used three of the four out of the four that I'm showing you. I used red apple, spiced berry, and light mocha. Mod Podge is optional, or you can make your own by mixing water and glue, and you'll need some scissors and a plate. Once you've taped up your boxes, the end result should look like this, and then you're just going to stack um, three, uh, three on each side. So here I'm just going to show you guys how I taped it up, and if you can get help with this, that would probably be a good idea, just because it's hard to use one hand and try to maneuver the tape and try to get it closed properly, so I did struggle a little bit. Um, especially since I was trying to show you guys at the same time so I wasn't holding it at a comfortable angle but anyway so the packing tape comes in handy as you can see because it's wider than like the normal scotch tape and it just worked out way better and it was more convenient than using a little strip of tape so here you are going to want to tape down only three of I don't know how to call it but the flaps the panels <laughs> you're just gonna want to fold down three of them Make sure that your tape is secure, and then you're going to want to repeat this step with the remaining four boxes. Once you've taped and stacked your boxes, you're going to want to make sure that nothing is crooked and everything is looking good before you start taping it. Um, I did tape the top, but I didn't tape the rest of the boxes yet, and as you can see, I got the wrong size box for the middle, so I had to find um, these little packing boxes and tape them to the side so that it would be the right size, because uh, it was too small. So I would just suggest getting the six boxes that are the same size, whatever size you choose, and then the middle box could be the same size if you want, or I don't know, you could just figure it out but I would suggest measuring it like while you're at the store or whatever because I didn't get a chance and right here in the middle it's not going to touch but that's okay because once you tape it up and put the craft paper over it you're not even going to be able to tell and I suggest taping right where those seams are so where the boxes meet where the line is I find it's better to tape there than anywhere else so this is where the Mod Podge comes in, and again, like I said, if you don't have it on hand or you don't feel like using it, it is optional, but for me, I felt like it was better to use and easier to use the Mod Podge than to tape it, but if you want, you can use tape it, if you find that easier or if that's all you have on hand, that's fine as well. So you could just, instead of using the glue, just measure up your paper against the box and then just tape it up. But I found, again, like I said, um, the Mod Podge to be better for me in my situation. So with the Mod Podge, you are going to get all these lines and bumps underneath your paper, and it's going to show through. Um, they're air bubbles. But you don't have to worry about it because once you start adding your bricks, you're not even going to be able to tell. And for me, I also think that it adds a little something to the look of the fireplace as well. But you really can't even tell and you'll see once I show you the end result. I was worried about the air bubbles at first, but once I started adding my bricks, like I said, it ended up looking awesome and you couldn't even really tell about the air bubbles anymore. So for the back, I didn't decorate the back. I don't think you need to decorate the back because nobody's going to see it, but you can if you want to. Um, but for me, I just um, used my packing tape and cut it up in smaller pieces and taped the back of the paper. 
as you can see I already got started and you're going to want to get some kind of paint brush or something just to spread your paint onto your sponge and I didn't get enough on there because I was trying to hold the camera in one hand and spread paint in the other but once you lay it down if it doesn't come out as opaque or it doesn't look the way you want it to you could just go back put some more paint and then go over your imprint again so you don't have to worry about it you can do so many things um, when it comes to putting on your bricks like right now I'll show you guys a great way to texture it is to just do what I'm doing right here and it makes it look a little more realistic and gives it a better look I feel like um, if you don't want so many holes in your bricks like the other ones above look you can just scrape your sponge across it um, across the brick imprint that you put already and it gives it like a better texture You're just going to want to repeat this process until you have laid all your bricks down. So once you're done laying all your bricks, you should get something that looks something like this. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this fake fire. You are going to need tea light candles that have a flickering effect, and these are fake tea light candles, obviously, as you can see. Um, I only picked up two because this is the first time I've ever made a fake fire, but I will be going back to the store to pick up another pack or so um, to make the fire look bigger. So I got this from the dollar store, or the dollar tree, and that's where I suggest you pick yours up. To create the coals, I just cut up some wax paper and painted them black and scrunched them up to try to make them look like coals. And it's okay if you can still see the white part because it kind of resembles like burned ash. So um, that's also a cool effect and it doesn't ruin it at all. So don't worry about that showing. And you're going to want them to look something like this, um, you know, just to resemble coals. Once you finish making your coals, you're just going to want to arrange them around your tea light candles. I found that using one piece of wax paper on top of both lights was better um, for the lights to shine through and then just put the rest of the coals all around that. So once you have finished everything up, you are done and you are free to personalize it, make it your own, add your Christmas decorations, your stockings, whatever you want. And this project was time consuming, I will say that, but it is very, very inexpensive compared to getting a uh, like an electrical fireplace like the fake ones or getting a real fireplace. This was very inexpensive, it was time consuming like I said, but it was definitely worth it because of the way that it turned out. I'm so happy with it. Everyone that comes to my house, my family, everyone is pleased with it as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you end up recreating this then you can tag me on Instagram at Marisela Des. Everything will be in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.